Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is happy and fantastic. It is exactly, not exactly 11 o'clock on the dot, but it is, I think it's two minutes past 11. Yeah, it's two minutes past 11. Uh, it's a wonderful day. It's a good day. We are happy. We are excited. We are fantastic. We are great. It is a Wednesday today. So yeah, it's a Wednesday today. So we must be excited. We must be excited. You must, you know, you, you, you must never be sad guys sadness is not a good thing so you must always be happy and excited especially about school why because you are learning something new every day we learn something new we learn something that is different and we always are growing our minds and we're growing what our minds know so it's very good it's very important that we are always 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 excited we're always excited so that being said my name is Chipono Solongwe, and again, I'm going to ask you guys that, as you can see, my Twitter handle is there. If you guys need any more help beyond what I am giving you, please contact me via Twitter. I am there always, so you can just, uh, I've opened my direct message, so you can just send me a direct message to say, hello, sir, how are you? Hope you're well. Um, um, I need more help. I'm, I'm not understanding this. Or I'm not understanding that. Or, sir, maybe the next lesson we can look at this. Because remember, what's important for me is that I want to make sure that we do enough that it's going to lead to a point whereby you guys fully understand. Remember that now, since, uh, since people are going to start going back into school, you must be at a point whereby now you understand most of the work. So that if they come with a test or exam or something, you already know it. You already know it. So that it's also faster for our teachers out there that at least that we don't have to see this whole uh, period of, of the lockdown as something that stopped us from actually learning and being educated. So it is, it is very important. It's very important that you guys always tell me to say no sir I, I don't understand this can you please uh can you please help me with this or sir i i i didn't get this part uh you know always that we are always talking or, or communicating especially also i I've, i love the thing that the fact that people are all also sending their in their homework when i ask them to, to say no no please send in this homework please do this it's always nice to know that people are sending in their homework why so that i can see that you guys are learning. You understand? So I can see that you guys are learning. The more that I see that you guys are learning, the better, because that's what is important, that you guys learn. So that's enough being said. Let's get into the lesson. Let us get into the lesson. Uh, my name is Chipono Solong, as I said again, and I think I've given enough time for more people to enter the lesson. We've just started now. We've just started now. I just said that we must always be in communication. Uh, uh, and here is my email, not my email, my Twitter handle for you guys to send me direct messages on Twitter. But that is fine. Let us go in. So we are describing, sorting, comparing objects in terms of uh, 2D shapes, right? That make up faces of 3D objects, uh, flat or curved surfaces. Right, so co compare 3D objects in terms of 2D shapes that make them up, right? It's fine. So this was your homework, right? This was a homework with this is, was perfectly done. This is was perfectly done. Um, thank you guys for sending in your homework. This was perfectly done. Per I, I, I cannot, I cannot express how perfect this, this homework was done. So all you guys needed to do was to write the uh, following. You are supposed to write cube, uh, rectangular prism, triangular prism, uh, hexagonal prism, sphere. And then you are supposed to match it with the 2D shape that's there. You match it with the 2D shape that's there. So a cube, it's squares all around. Uh, rectangular prism, it's a rectangles all around. Triangular prism, it has uh, triangles, and then I think at the bottom there's a unless it's a pyramid. At the bottom there has to be a a a a a, a square or uh, yeah a square, and then uh, hexagonal prism, hexagonal hex, hexagon all uh, all, all around. 
and then um um was this hexagons and um it's hexagons and try ah it's hexagons and rectangles and then a uh, sphere is circle you understand so that's all you needed to do but that's fine let us now remember what i said the other day i said yesterday that you guys must have this have this and uh, a sheet of paper. So you must have this glue and a sheet of paper. So remember I said, get box of matches, glue and a sheet of paper. Then we're ready. So I said that you must have this today because we're going to use them. So please make sure that you have this because I said yesterday, you must have it. Fine. Let us, now I'm going to give you guys three minutes to get whatever you need for the lesson. Three minutes right so that uh we are prepared so actually i'll give you two minutes to get whatever you need for the lesson and that we are prepared for the lesson so if maybe you forgot about the matches and there's matches in the house it's fine you can go get it if you don't have matches you can look at the lesson remember this will be put on on youtube so you can look at the lesson attend the lesson be part of the lesson in case that now you you might not have matches you attend the lesson and then um, attending the lesson, uh, um, uh, attending the lesson, you can actually do the lesson later on because the homework involves matches. So if you don't have matches for the lesson now, you can be part of the whole lesson. And then later on, later on when, you are, when we're done with the lesson, you can actually do the homework, which will actually what we're doing in the lesson itself. If you don't have matches right but those who have matches super so right now i'm going to give you guys two minutes to get whatever you need for the lesson and then we will start we will start with our lesson so it'll be two minutes for you to get whatever you need for the lesson your two minutes starts now your two minutes has started Your two minutes have started to get whatever you need for the lesson. Whether you need water, whatever, whatever you need, you can go get it. If you have matches nearby, you can go get it right now if you have matches nearby. If not, it's fine, as I said, because the homework itself is what we're going to do in the lesson. So since the homework itself is what we're going to do in the lesson, you don't have to you don't have to go far. You don't have to, you don't have to actually get worried. You don't have to go get worried. It's just that yesterday I said that you need matches and glue for the lesson because uh, we're going to be constructing shapes using matches. So we're going to be constructing shapes using matches, but that's for later on in the lesson right now. Let's not worry about that very earlier on. Let's not worry about that. So if you have it, awesome. Means that you listen and I'm happy with people who listen. It's nice that when you listen. Yes, so now you have 30 seconds remaining. Let's work, you have 30 seconds remaining. Three zero seconds remaining. 30 seconds remaining. Let us work, let us work, let us work, let us work, let us work. Let us work. Let us work. We are working. We are working. We are working. We are working. Let us work. 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 I think it's 10. All right. Time up. Let me just give you 10 seconds to settle down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now let us start with our work. So we've been speaking about 2D shapes. We've been speaking about 2D shapes. And um us being about 2D shapes, 2D shapes and 3D shapes, we said that uh, what makes a 2D shape 
it's a plain figure, so it's a flat figure. And what makes it 2D is the fact that it that it has two dimensions, which are length and width. Length and width. That's what makes it 2D. That it has two dimensions, that it's length and that's what D means dimension. What is a dimension? It's the uh, what would call the, the what makes it like the sides, like what it what makes up the shape, which is the length and the width. That's what we call two dimensional, two dimensional, right? It does not have any thickness and it's flat. Two dimensional shapes are flat. They're all flat, like, as you can see, flat, flat, flat. So that's what makes a figure two dimensional. It may, it's the fact that it is flat. It is flat. Right. Let's go to the next one, which is 3D. Now, in geometry, 3D can be defined as a solid figure. So anything that is 3D is solid, right? Solid figure. It's a solid figure. That's what we call 3D. It is a solid figure. I'm using soap here. So anything that is that there is a, uh, a, a solid figure, we'll call it 3D. And why? It has three dimensions. So, yeah. Length, number one. Width, number one. And height. Length, width, and height. It has three dimensions. Length, width, and height. That's what makes it. That's what makes it three dimensional. There's length, width, and height, and it's, it's it's solid. You can actually like it's not flat. Like as you can see, it's not flat like your two D shapes, right? It's not flat like your two D shape. So it's actually as that's why it's called a solid figure. You can actually you know you can you can um how how can I put this? Yeah, it's more, it's easily, uh, you can manipulate it easily. And it can actually, like most, that's most, most 3D shapes are used to store. That's why if you can see that boxes, boxes are what? 3D. Boxes are what? 3D. So you can actually put things inside because you see boxes are 3D. Many of them are used to store things or um, like, for example, Cylinders, where do you find cylinders? In toilet paper. You see the, the thing in the middle of the toilet paper? I always forget its name. And I'm going to remember it after the lesson. But that is also seen as what? 3D. Right? So 3D has three dimensions. Now, guys, I'm going to give you guys five minutes. Let me say, yeah, five minutes to do this exercise. What you do is that you look for these, you look for all the squares, you count the squares, you put them here. You count the triangles, you put them here. You count the circles, you put the, the, uh, the uh, you, you, you write down the answer. You count the, the, the rectangles, you put it here. So what, what I'm going to say, in your book, you're going to draw a square equals, then you count, you count the squares, you write the answer. You're going to draw a triangle equals, you count the triangles, you put the answer. You're going to draw a circle equals, you count the circles, you put the answer. You're going to draw a rectangle equals, you count the rectangles, you put an answer. That's what you're going to do now. That's what we're going to do now, is that you're going to draw a square, you count them here, you put in uh, the answer here. Draw a triangle equals, you put the answer here. For all of these shapes, for all of these shapes, and your time starts, your time starts now. You have you have five minutes. Your time starts now.
So the exercise, what I want you guys to do is that you draw a, a square, you say equal to count the square. You draw a, a triangle, you say equal to count the triangle. You draw the circle, say equal to count the circles. You draw a rectangle, equal to draw, uh, write how many rectangles do we have. You have about three minutes left. You have about three minutes left. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. mm. Right. Uh, you have one minute left. One minute. You have one minute left. One minute left. Checking the timer. You have 30 seconds left. You have 30 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. Time up, time up, time up, time up, time up, time up, time up. Who has answers for me? Who has answers for me for the squares? For the squares. Who has answers for me for the squares? For the squares. Who can answer for me? How many squares do we have? How many squares do we have? Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine, thanks. And how are you? I'm awesome. How many squares do we have? Seven. Seven squares. All right. Awesome. Um, 
awesome 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 you're an awesome person eh? all right okay. let, me go, let me go to the next person well who can answer for us how many triangles do we have triangles triangles who can give me a good answer for triangles yeah hello yes sir how are you i'm fine and thank you i'm good how many triangles do we have four four awesome yes thank you thank you thank you thank you right who can give me an answer for how many circles we have circles the, the circles how many circles do we have who can give me a nice answer for the circle got one yeah Hello. Hello. Right, fine. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hello. Hello. I'm fine, sir. And how are you? I'm good. How many circles do we? I'm fine. Five. How many? Uh, how many circles do we have? How many circles do we have? Fine. Right. Who can give me an answer for uh, the circles? Switch off your video if your video is on. All right. Switch off your video if your video is on. Switch off your video if your video is on. Who can give me an answer for the circles? Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? My answer is nine. For the circles? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, keep on showing the answers here. So, right. Uh, who can give me an answer for the... Uh, who can give me an answer for, for the rectangles? Who can give me an answer for the rectangles? I need an answer for the rectangles. For the rectangles. Who can give me an answer for the rectangles? Right. Last person. Hello. Four. How are you? I'm fine. I'm good. How many rectangles do we have? Four. 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 Yes. Sure, sure. Yes. Sure, 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 sure. Yes. All right. Um, let's see. I, 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 I counted like this. Nah? Um, let's see, because we must have a, a discussion. I counted like this. This is a rectangle. Nah? Let's start here by the squares. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Nah? This here, it's a square itself. Power. So it's one. All right, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? If you count it that way, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But then I thought now, 
But this shape here, this part here itself is a square. So this is supposed to be what? Eight, if you think about it. Because this, it's a square itself as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because that I, I just thought about that now to say that this itself is what? It's eight. Uh uh. Uh uh. I read eight. That's eight. So that's eight. That problem. So this is eight. Why? Why do I say it's eight? This is a 2D shape itself. Yes, it's the one that's holding the shape, but it's a 2D shape itself. We can't take it out and say it's not a 2D shape. Right. Then the triangles were also simple. One, two, three, four. That's not a problem. Circles were simple. They were nine. Now rectangles. Let's see. So I've got, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Rectangles. I've got one, right. Got one, two. Three, right? We're counting. So it's one, two, three, four. I made a mistake here. There are four actually. So it's one, two, three, four. So let me correct that because I made a mistake there as well. I put six there. I don't know what I was thinking. So there are four. So that's five. But we must remember, guys, we must remember one thing. Ne? Let's correct this. This becomes eight because we count everything that is 2D. And remember that when you look at a shape, what helps you comparing a rectangle compared to a square? All sides are equal on a square. Every single side is equal on the square. But a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. Two long sides and two short sides. That's the difference. A square, every side is equal. A rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. Let's go in this side. So these are the different shapes we have, right? A square, every side is the same. That's every side is the same. Here I know it looks like a rectangle, but it's because of the way the picture is. But every side on a square is equal. On a, a, a triangle, every side is <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. On a on a triangle, every side is equal. So you've got since there are three sides, it's going to be like this. So it's one, two, three, that's equal. Rectangle, two short sides, two long sides. Circle, it's just a full round the, the circle. Then you don't really count sides, count sides there. Then now we'll go to these ones that have gone behind them. Pentagon, hexagon, octagon, nonagon. Pentagon is five sides. Five sides, five uh, vertices, five corners. Né? Hexagon is six sides. Six sides, six vertices. Octagon, eight sides. Eight sides, eight vertices. Nonagon, nine sides. Nine sides, nine vertices. Decagon, ten sides. Ten sides, ten vertices. So, when we look at the characteristics here, square, four sides, four sides. Rectangle, four sides, four sides. Difference with the rectangle is two short sides, two long sides. That's the only difference between a square and a rectangle. I hope we're together. Right. Now, what I wanted us to do while to not waste any time. You guys right now, for the next five minutes, are going to now take your matchsticks, right? Take your matchsticks and make the following shapes there, two tissues. So if, let's try the one of a triangle, right? If they want a triangle, all you do is just to glue like this together. And then what do I have? I have a triangle. That's all we're doing now for the next five minutes. Then I show you guys your homework. 
percent child right so for the next five minutes that's what i want you guys to do i want you guys right now to actually go and make shapes on a piece of paper you stick them on or you just put them put them on and then we look at the answers uh, uh, uh we look at how it's done and then i explain your homework so that you'll be doing for the next five minutes your five minutes start now that's what we're going to be doing with the matchsticks you are going to be making these shapes remember with the square that all sides are going to be equal but the best example i can show you now here is what if i come closer with the triangle we do this right so make these shapes Sorry, there you go. Right, so guys, that's all I want you guys to do for the next five minutes. You're going to be making a square, triangle, pentagon, hexagon using the message. Oopsie, why am I keep on showing you how it's done? I must not do that. So yeah, that's all I need you guys to do now with the matchsticks. That's what I need to do now with the matchsticks. That's what I need you guys to do now with the mistakes. You're going to just be creating these things. A square, triangle, pentagon, hexagon. Using machismo. Using matches. Using matches. Then I show you your homework. Then we're done. So now you have two minutes left. Two minutes. So the faster you are, the better. The faster you work, the better for everyone. The faster we work, the better for everyone. And during the homework time, we can have some questions and answers during the homework time. If you are done, please tell me in the chat. If you are done. If you are done, please tell me in the chat. If you are done, please tell me in the chat. If you are done, please tell me in the chat. You can just say, I'm done, sir. I'm finished or whatever. If you are done, please tell me in the chat.
30 seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right. So this is what you are actually because now our time is almost up. So I'll just show you. This is what you are supposed to actually have. So you would actually have your matchsticks together on paper this side because I, I did not i could not make you guys go get plastic but this is what you are going to actually have you're going to have them all connected together and can you see that here that on each side it shows that each side is equal that one match stick one match stick one match stick one match stick makes a square here pentagon it's five match sticks so for each side it's going to be a match stick right for each side, it's going to be a matchstick. But this is the, the general thing that you guys are supposed to have right now. Um, the one I wanted you guys to look at was the rectangle. Now, what makes the rectangle different is that two sides are long, two sides are short. So on the one side, on the, on the opposite, one opposite side of the, of the rectangle, you're going to put two matchsticks together. Why? You have to make two long sides and two short sides. Because if we just put one, 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 it's going to end up being what? A square. And we don't want a square. We want a rectangle, which has two short sides and two long sides. But now let's go to your homework. Here is your homework. Please write down your homework. Are there any questions? Here is your homework. Please write down your homework. Are there any questions? Do we have any questions? Does anyone have questions? Tomorrow, it's the last day we're going to be doing anything involving 2D or 3D shapes. So are there any questions, guys? Do we have any questions right now? Questions. Are there any questions? If not, please just write down the homework. Uh, for the next five minutes, you have five full minutes to write down the homework. Here is the homework. So are there any questions? Who has questions? Are there any questions? Hello. 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 I think it's a mistake. Are there any questions, guys? Questions going once. All right. So there are a lot of questions. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And how are you? I'm good. So my question is, are we going to do shapes the whole week? Well, we're going to stop with shapes tomorrow. And then we're going to, we're going to do our riddles on Friday. And then on Monday, we start with data handling. Okay, sir. Thank you. Pleasure, my darling. Right. So the question was, what are we doing? Tomorrow is the last day we're going to do shapes. There's an exercise which we're going to do shapes. Then on Friday, we're going to be doing riddles and math problems. And then on Monday, going onwards, we're going to be doing data handling. We're going to be doing data handling. Any other questions? Where's questions? Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine, thanks. And how are you? I'm awesome. You have a question for me? Yes. What's the question? Are we done for today? Yeah. Our lesson is finished. If you've written down your homework, then we are done for today. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you, my darling, for the question.
Right. Any other questions? Any other question? 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 No, just write down the homework. Just write down the homework. What you guys should look at now, what's important now, guys, is that you write down the homework. So write down the homework. You have more than enough time to write down your homework. Like you have three minutes left now. <laughs> you have three minutes left to write down your homework. Well, I thought there were like five minutes left, but it's fine. So you have three minutes left to write down your homework. So yeah, that's it. You have three minutes left to write down your homework. So quickly, 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 write down your homework. Write it. And then, yeah, uh, since there are no more questions, I think then, yeah, we can just wait for everyone to be finished to write it down their homework. This one, you've got Pentagon, ne? And I'm, I'm not giving you the answer, but be careful. You've got Pentagon. Ne? I'm not telling you anything. I don't want you guys to have answers, but you have pentagon, you have hexagon, ne? pentagon, hexagon, ne? heptagon, 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 octagon, nonagon. I haven't given you an answer, but just know you have pentagon, you've got hexagon. Got heptagon, hepta, heptagon, then you've got octagon, and you've got nonagon. If you've been wondering what's a heptagon, and you saw what I was doing now with my hands, then yeah. So you must be very, very careful. Heptagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, but hepta. Heptagon, oct octagon, and then nonagon. So that's what it your homework. The same exercise we're doing where with the mastics, pasting them on paper, is your homework. With the mastics. Yes. All right. So you've got one minute left. One minute left. Please write quickly. Please write quickly. Then we are going into our beautiful lesson of literacy. Going to our beautiful lesson of literacy. So please write quickly. Please, 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 please write quickly. Right. Please write quickly. You've got a minute left. A minute left. A minute left. A minute left. So please write quickly. You have a minute left. All right. The time is up. So guys, I love you guys, all of you. Thank you for always attending the lessons. Thank you for being amazing students. Thank you guys for being awesome people. And thank you guys for loving school. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that you guys listen to the lessons and attend and how much I love all of you. So please continue to do the best that you're doing and continue to being superstars. There's, there's, there's nothing more I can say, but that all of you, are superstars and all of you are going to have amazing futures but thank you for everything i love you all and it is bye bye from me oh i see that the email is oh oh the, okay yeah the email here the email here i don't know if we have enough time the email here is short of an okay let me just do this quickly so I don't know how much time I have left. Here's my email address, right? It was short of an O. It was short of one O. So there's my email address. Uh, quickly write down this email address. Here's my email address. 